Thorne with MTV News. Todd Rundgren, who launched his recording career in the late 60s, was one of the first artists to dive into music video in the early 1980s, building his own high-tech studio complex in upstate New York. Now he's embraced another new technology, the Philips CDI Interactive Disc. Rod Rundgren has just released two versions of his new album, No World Order. One is a standard album of new songs, but the other one is in the interactive version for use with the Philips CDI machine. That version allows the listener to decide how the album sounds. Here's what we mean. For over 20 years, Todd Rundgren has been a technological forerunner in both the music and video field. Todd has now attempted to advance music another step by creating the first album on CD Interactive, or CDI. CDI is a version of uh, the CD format. Looks very much like a CD, except that it's got interactive data on it rather than uh, just sound. And it also connects up to your television. Once you start playing with the buttons, you have options to, uh, to change the, uh, the way that the record behaves. In other words, if I press this button here, an editor screen comes up, and this editor screen will allow you to uh, modify the, the performance in a number of different ways. The listener has the ability to change the tempo, the direction, the mood, and even hear a mix by one of five different producers. And then we can uh, even strip out the vocals and essentially to have the album play totally instrumentally in so-called karaoke mode. You can change your direction of travel through the music. Since we're essentially looking at the music as being events strung af one after the other, but the uh, ultimate effect is that you can go uh, through the album from the end to the beginning. Unlike traditional songs, which follow a verse, chorus, verse format, Todd had to write and compose this music unlike any other musician has done before. Because I knew that the music was going to be interactive first, I prepared the so-called interactive database. You know, there's almost a thousand, almost uh, uh, many songs, you know, four-bar pieces of music that are self-contained in a way. In fact, the database contains billions of combinations that would take the average listener a lifetime to listen to every combination available. You can see the results almost instantaneously. And so it encourages you to experiment a lot and try different things. With your day job. When the consumer uses or interacts with the CDI, the combinations that they can pick range from the simply innovative to indistinguishable gibberish. Kind of blurs the line a little bit between musician and, and uh, listener. I don't think everything is going to go interactive. I don't, I don't believe so. It might take a, a good 10 years till it does, but it gives uh, a challenge to musicians for more creativity within the music and a more challenge for more creativity for the listener, too. There's lots of other available software for the C Philips CDI machine, by the way, from educational programs and video games to movies in full motion video. As for Todd Rundgren, he's now planning a world tour to launch this fall to make the concerts as interactive as his CD. Rundgren says each night he'll play a completely different show. That's the news for now. We'll be back with more news later right here on MTV. MTV News. You hear it first.